What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Currently out here at this little swamp behind me. Gonna try to get on some kind of rare fish for this area. Some of you guys maybe have an abundance of them in your area, but today I'm gonna try to get on some bowfin. I've caught some really good ones out here, eight, nine pounders. Uh, I hung one out here that was too big to even fit in my net. I think the Georgia record 16 pounds. So this is probably one of the best potential places I know of to catch one even remote, remotely close to that. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Leave this video a like. Wish me luck, guys. Hopefully I can catch a big bowfin. There's some bass in here too, carp. You never know what kind of species of fish you're gonna get out in this thing. So I have the little Lifetime Tamarack Pro with me. We're gonna go ahead and send this thing out in the swamp and I'll see you guys here in just a second. Caught a six pound bass right where I just cast it right now. Used to be. Got one. Gosh. <sighs> a good one. Gosh. Look at that fat little chunk. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Absolutely hammered that chatterbait. If I can get it out. I had him hooked so good. Oh my goodness. Let me spin the boat around. First bass of the day. Didn't bring my scale with me. Probably a solid three and a half pounds. It's crazy how short and fat it is. Thing's just absolute chunk full of eggs or something. So that's the first bass of the day. That's a really good fish. So we'll go ahead and get a release on this bad boy right here. Get back to fishing. That is a chunk, guys. I mean, he slammed that chatterbait. Let's go, first bass of the day, and a good one too. Got one. It's not a both in though, it's another bass. Second bass of the day, I was hoping it was a both in. Still haven't got a bowfin. I saw a big bowfin right where I'm at, but landed this little booger. So hopefully, go ahead and put him back. Hopefully we can get on some. Saw a deer down here, all kinds of wildlife. I don't know. I'm re I really just want a bowfin today, so I'm gonna keep grinding. That fish I just saw was right here. See if it'll bite though. Nope, didn't bite. Got one. It is a bass, man. I want a bowfin. I want a bowfin. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about catching fish, but this is not the species I came here to catch. Bass number three. I saw another one beside it. Seemed like it was a little bit bigger. It ran off, so we're gonna go ahead and release him. Ooh. I want a big mouth bowfin, as Larry Mountain Jr. would call it. Bowfin. Nope, it's a bass. Man, I thought you were a bowfin, boy. Mm. Man, you got my hopes up. Uh, 
I should have known. I mean, it's an okay bass, but I hooked it and I was like, bow fin, it's a bow fin. Nope, bass. But it's not a bad one. It's definitely not been a bad day for bass fishing. This one's the skinniest one I've caught. So that's saying something. I caught some really good bass today. So go ahead and let that one back in. Gonna put on another uh, black Kitech trailer on the back of this Thunder Cricket. I wish I had a little bit bigger of a trailer, but this is all I got. The 3.5s, I would way, way rather have one of the fat swing impact because these skinny ones just tear too easy. Man, I'm sitting there thinking, I finally got a bow fin, I finally got one. Nope. Big mouth bass. Let's go ahead and back it up. There very well could potentially be one up in all this. I'm going to go this way and ease my way up to the back of this little pocket. Something just took off right there and it was big. Something took off right there. Oh my gosh! That was the biggest freaking bow fin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, what an absolute giant oh my gosh i'm just i'm mad right now let me just throw this frog not get any bites oh my goodness at the size of that bow fin i really hope i got that on this main camera because that was that was no doubt a bow fin and it was a massive one a massive one Oh my goodness, guys. I'm kicking myself. Like I said, those things are super hard to hook. That bow fin was so big. Look at that, that's a crappy. I just caught a crappie on a chatterbait. I thought that bow fin hit it again. I was about to have a heart attack. Oh my goodness. A crappie on a chatterbait. All right, if I can get a bow fin, I can knock three species out. But I'm not, not complaining about that. Man. And that crappie hit right here at the kayak as well. I wonder if there's like something down here that they're just like really attracted to you thankfully i've had i got a lot of these gamakatsu hooks got a bunch of four alt if you guys are wondering what's the best hook to use for worm fishing fluke fishing gamakatsu four all ewg can't go wrong that's definitely what i'm throwing I got a little one. All right. All right, guys, it's not a big one, but, oh yes. It's not a big bow fin. I got a little one. Check out that fish, beautiful fish. It's just a teeny tiny one though. <laughs> and it keeps flopping. 
All right, guys. That is a little bow fin. I'm gonna go ahead and get a release on her. All right. Finally, we, we got what we came to get. It wasn't a giant one. That la that first one I hung, giant. So I got that one on a watermelon red yum dinger. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another one on. I knew that should have been a pretty good spot. They like hiding in uh, like dead water areas. That's their favorite. And uh, they're really hard to hook. So I'm very glad I got it. Thanks to that gumakatsu hook right there. Thing stuck them. All right, everybody. I caught one bow fin, like six or seven bass. I don't know how many I put in this video. Hung a giant bow fin. And look at the view behind me. This is a crazy swamp. Uh, I really enjoy fishing here. I used to fish here all the time. But if you guys want to see more bowfin fishing videos, drop it in the comments below. Some people consider them trash fish. They hate them. They'll shoot them, kill them, whatever. But they're actually pretty rare in my area. There's only like a select few places that you can catch them. And they're not, uh, they're not like snakehead where they take over. They're pretty non-invasive. They just mainly stay where the water is super swampy and the oxygen level is low. So obviously there's bass in here, there's bowfin in here, they're cohabitating. I caught more bass than I did bowfin, so it's not like the bowfin are overtaking the entire place. So I don't know, let me know if you guys wanna see more bowfin fishing videos. I'll try to come back and get a monster for you guys. I like to go bowfin fishing every now and then. You know, sometimes catching bass over and over gets a little boring, guys. Just not a lot, but sometimes it's, it's nice to change your species. I wanna go catch a uh, shoal bass here pretty soon. So hopefully I'll have one of those videos coming for you guys. But like I said, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So please help me accomplish that goal before the end of the year. Until the next time, catch you guys later. Peace.